I feel like there is a wall of fear that is separating two sides from each other and neither one is able to hear and see the other. A lot of non-Muslims are very afraid of Muslims. They believe that they are gonna come to America or Europe and impose different cultural norms on, on this country and gonna impose Sharia on this country, which is absolutely absurd. And that women are being oppressed in Muslim societies. And when you talk to the Muslims in America, they feel very hurt, they feel ostracized, marginalized, stereotyped, attacked, harassed. And so they're also, some of them are also generalizing the fear of the other side. The only way forward, in my opinion, is to have the uncomfortable conversations, is to bring it up in an honest way. And that's the first step. But the second step is to listen in an honest way as well. Like I talked to so many Muslims around the world in the last two years, what needs to happen? And the number one answer is meet one, meet a Muslim, get to know who we are, individualize us and not see us as a united collective because we're not as any other community. There is diversity within us. When Islamophobia rises and the normal Muslim become a victim of it, then ISIS win. ISIS, uh, it's almost this, this darkness that comes and takes advantage of those who feel disenfranchised. This is not a fight that you can kill people with. This is an ideological one, and this is really a testimony of our humanity. Can we not be afraid of the other? When fear and anger leads our action, we become the very thing we despise. So we have to rise up into more love and taking a leap of faith of understanding each other.